Amen, amen, amen. Praise the Lord, New Horizons Church family and friends. This is Pastor Wiggins, and I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is the day that the Lord has made. I pray you are rejoicing. I pray you are glad in it. Thank you again, family, for joining me in prayer. Thank you for joining me in prayer. The Bible says one can put a thousand to flight, two can put 10,000 to flight. We just do better when we come together. And what a powerful testimony it is to know that somebody is praying with you and somebody is praying for you each and every day. I know I get encouragement just knowing that there are people on this prayer call praying with our church and praying along with me each and every day. And so I pray that you feel that same strength and that same encouragement as we go to God in prayer. And we're learning about the names of God this entire month. So hopefully we're getting closer to him and falling more in more in love with him as we learn more about him. God has revealed his word to us that we might know about his attributes, his ways and his character. And so each day we read a word from the pa- the word of God and we read the passage that reveals God's name to us. And so today, day number 25, we're going to be in Deuteronomy chapter 33 and verse 29, Deuteronomy chapter 33 and verse 29 from the new international version. I have the new international version in front of me today. We're going to be reading from Deuteronomy chapter 33 and verse 29. Here's what the word of God says. Blessed are you, Israel, who is like you, a people saved by the Lord. He is your shield and helper and your glorious sword. Your enemies will cower before you and you will tread on their heights. Amen. The writer here in Deuteronomy says, blessed are you, Israel, who is like you, a people saved by the Lord. He is your shield and helper and your glorious sword. Amen. We learned today that God is Jehovah Cherub, Jehovah Cherub, the Lord, the sword. That's right. God will be and is our sword in battle. And so first of all, today, we want to just pray and thank God for his salvation their salvation in the name of Jesus. We want to secondly pray and thank God that he is our shield. He is our shield. And then we want to pray and thank God that in our battles, God is our sword. He is Jehovah cherub. Amen. So as we get ready to go to prayer today, if you're facing a battle, you can just go to God knowing that he will help fight your battles for you and he will be your sword in the battle. Amen. Come on, let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we love you, we honor you, and bless and praise your holy name. God, we thank you for the privilege and the power that is contained in prayer. God, we thank you, Jesus, for inviting us, commanding us to pray. For you told us men and women ought to always pray. Lord, thank you that when we go to prayer, Lord, we know that we're doing battle in the spiritual realm. So I come now, Lord, interceding for somebody that is in a battle, Lord, in their family. They're in a battle, Lord, in their finances. They're in a battle, Lord, on their jobs. They're in a battle even in their own flesh, Lord. And I come asking you to give us the victory in Jesus' name. Lord, we know we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but we fight against principalities and spiritual wickedness in high places, Lord. So as we come and do battle in the in the spirit realm, God, we thank you that you are Jehovah Cherub. You are the Lord our sword. First of all, God, we thank you and praise you that there is salvation in your name. Jesus, we thank you for dying on the cross. We thank you for having your blood be shed for the forgiveness and the remission of our sin. We thank you for being buried and we thank you for being raised from the dead and that you, O oh God, are alive forevermore. We thank you, Lord, that you have set our souls free, that you have translated us from the power of darkness and into the kingdom of of the son of God. Lord, we thank you for giving us spiritual victory on that cross. We thank you for giving us eternal life and life more abundantly. So we thank you that you are our salvation. We thank you. Not only are you our salvation, God, but when we go to battle, that you are our shield, that you guard us, God, and that you guard us from the fiery darts of the enemy, Lord, that you told us to take with us the shield of faith in you. Faith comes by hearing God and hearing by the word of God. Thank you that the more word we get, the bigger you become as a shield in our life. 
shielding us, Lord, from the enemy's attacks, from those that we see as well as those that we don't see. So thank you for being our shield, Lord. Thank you for covering us and keeping us safe, Lord, from the arrows that fly at noonday. Thank you for keeping us safe, Lord, from the arrows that fly at midnight. Thank you that you are our great shield. Thank you also, God, that you are our sword in battle, that we take with us the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, that God, when we speak your words, demons tremble. Hell flinches, God, because your word is powerful, Lord. Help us to take the word of God into battle and gain spiritual victories and gain kingdom territory for you, O God. Thank you that you are Jehovah Cherub, our sword. Lord, we pray that you would fight our battles for us, that you would give us the victory in Jesus' name, that you would stand and you would come against our enemies and that they would stumble and fall as they come up to try to take us out, Lord that you would utterly destroy the enemy in the spiritual realm, Lord, and you would break his shackles, that you would break his hold, that you would tear down his strongholds, God, that we might worship you in spirit and in truth, that we might do your will on earth, even as it is in heaven, that we might walk in your statues, that we might walk in your precepts, that we might glorify you, God, even now, that we might gain victory, Lord, that we might give all praise, glory, and honor to you. Thank you for that that you are our sword, that you are our shield, that you are our salvation. We glorify you as Jehovah Cherub, the Lord, the sword. We thank you for it and we bless you for it. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Again, today was day 25 and we prayed from Deuteronomy chapter 33 and verse 29. Deuteronomy chapter 33. In verse 29 from the New International Version says, Blessed are you, Israel, who is like you, a people saved by the Lord. He is your shield and helper, your glorious sword. Your enemies will cower before you, and you will tread on their heights. I want you to go in the victory that is yours in Jesus Christ, knowing that he is Jehovah Cherub, the Lord, the sword that it will fight your battles for you. I'll be back with you tomorrow. Share the channel with somebody. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification button. That way you can get these prayers when they come out each and every day. We'll be back to pray with you again tomorrow. Remember, I love you in the Lord. Be victorious. God bless.